Hi, welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem of 6-2 from RC Hippaler Engineering Statics 15th edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the force in each member of the truss and state if the members are in tension or compression. Now to solve this problem, first of all, we have to draw all the support reactions. So at point A, I have a roller support. So I have a normal reaction at point A. At point B, I have a pin support. So I have a vertical reaction and the horizontal reaction. Let's label them. So this right here is AX, this is BX, and this is BY. To calculate the values of these unknown, we can apply the equations of equilibrium. So our first equation would be summation of moments at point B equals to zero. I'm considering counterclockwise direction as positive. So BX and BY will not produce any moment about point B because they are passing through it. So they don't have any moment arm with respect to the point B, the pivot point. AX is trying to rotate the truss in clockwise direction about point B. So the moment produced by the AX will be taken as negative. And the moment arm is just 3 meters distance. 3 kN force is trying to rotate the truss in counterclockwise direction about point B. So the moment produced by this 3 kN force is positive. And the moment arm is this 4 meter distance equals to 0. So from here, AX comes out to be 4 kN. To find the value of BY, we can apply summation of forces in Y direction equals to 0. I am considering up direction as positive. So we have BY minus 3 equals to 0. So BY comes out to be 3 kN. Similarly, for Bx, I am going to do summation of forces in x direction equals to 0. I am considering the right hand side as positive. So we have Bx minus Ax equals to 0. So from here, Bx is equals to Ax, which we have calculated earlier as 4 kN. So these are the values of our support reactions that we might have to use later on. Now we have to calculate the force in each member of the truss, for which we are going to use the method of joints. So for the method of joints, we are going to draw the free body diagram of each joint, and then we will apply the equations of equilibrium to determine their magnitude and their nature, whether they are in tension or compression. So starting from the joint B, the free body diagram of the joint B would look something like this. I have this inclined force at some angle. I have a horizontal force because of the member BA. I'm assuming it as a tensile force. I have a vertically downward acting force that is 3 kN. Let's label them. So this right here is, let's call this FBC. This is FBA. And this right here is 3 kN. Let's call this angle as theta. This angle is also theta. And we, we can calculate this angle by considering this triangle. So if I draw this triangle separately, so the height is 3, the base is 4. So 10 theta equals to 3 upon 4. So theta equals to 10 inverse of 3 upon 4, which in turn becomes. 36.87 degrees. Now I can resolve this FDC force into its components. So I have one horizontal component and one vertical component. So let's label them as well. So this right here is FDC sine theta and this is FDC cos theta. Now we can apply the equations of equilibrium. So our first equation would be summation of forces in y direction equals to zero. I'm considering up direction as positive. So we have FDC sine theta, which is 36.87 degrees minus three equals to zero. 
So FDC comes out to be 5 kN. And you can see here the answer is positive. And we had assumed earlier FDC as a member in tension. So our assumption is correct. FDC in fact is in tension. Now to calculate the values for FDA, we can apply summation of forces in x direction equals to zero. I'm considering the right hand side as positive. So we have FDA plus FDC cos theta. So FDC is five cos 36.87 degrees equals to zero. So FDA comes out to be negative four kilonewtons. And as you can see here, the answer for FDA is negative. And earlier we had assumed FDA as a member in tension. So our assumption is wrong. In fact, FDA is in compression. So now we have to apply the same procedure for the other joints as well. So now we are going to solve for the joint B. So joint B. If I draw the free body diagram of the joint B, the free body diagram would look something like this. I have I have the horizontal support reaction, the vertical support reaction. I have this force at some angle and I, I have force due to this member BA. So let's draw them. So I have a vertical BY force. I have a force due to the member BA. I'm assuming it as a tensile force. I have a horizontal force because of the support reaction at pin B. And I have a force at some angle. Force PC. I'm also assuming it as a tensile force. So let's label them. So this is BX. This is BY. This is F BA. And this is F DC. Let's call this angle as alpha, which is same as that angle. Now to calculate the value for alpha, we can consider this triangle. The same triangle as before. So this is, so this right here is alpha, the height is three, the base is four, and this is theta, and this is 90 degrees, the right angle triangle. So we can see that alpha would be equals to 90 degrees minus theta. So, and theta is 36.87 degrees. So alpha is 53.13 degrees. Now I have to resolve this FDC force into its components. So I have one horizontal component and one vertical component. This angle right here is al also alpha because they are alternate angles. So this right here is FDC sine alpha and this is FDC cos alpha. Now again we have to apply the equations of equilibrium. So first equation would be summation of forces in x direction equals to zero. I'm considering the right hand side as positive. So we have Bx minus Fbc sine alpha and alpha is 53.13 degrees equals to zero. So Fbc is equals to Bx divided by sine 53.13 degrees. And if you recall, the Bx is Four kN. So FBC comes out to be five kN. And as you can see here, the answer for FBC is positive. And we had assumed FBC in tension. So our assumption is correct. And in fact, FBC is in tension. Now for the FBA force, we can apply the summation of forces in y direction equals to zero. I'm considering up direction as positive. So we have BY minus FBA minus FBC cos alpha and alpha is 53.13 degrees equals to zero. So if I substitute the values, BY is three kilonewtons minus FBA. FBC is five into cos 53.13 degrees equals to zero. So when we calculate it, 3 minus FBA, this thing also becomes 3 equals to 0. 
So positive 3 and negative 3 gets cancelled out. So FBA is 0. So FB, FBA is a 0 force member. So it is neither in tension nor in compression. Now we have to the calculation at the joint C. So if I just copy it down. So at joint C, and if I draw its free body diagram, the free body diagram would look something like this. So I have a force FBC, which is a tensile force. I have a force FBC, which is also a tensile force. And I have a force due to the member CA, and I'm assuming it as a tensile force. If you recall, this angle was theta and that was alpha from this triangle. So if I draw a horizontal line here, then this angle is also theta because these two are corresponding angles. So this angle is theta and this angle would also be theta because now they are vertically opposite angles. We have to calculate for this angle. Let's call this beta. So to calculate the angle beta, which is right here, we can use the properties of a similar triangle. So we have two similar triangles. One is the larger one, and other is the smaller one inside it. So let's say the triangle B, B, A, and the triangle C, B, and let's call this point as O, are similar. So we are going to compare their sides. So the vertical side of the DBA is three and the horizontal is four, like the base is four, equals to the height, let's call this the distance X, the height of the triangle CDO, and the base is two. So X comes out to be 1.5 meters. So if the distance X is 1.5 meters, this height is also 1.5 meters because in total it is three meters. So now we have to consider this triangle. Which has an angle beta, the height 1.5 meters, the base two meters. So if I use the ratio of 10, so 10 beta is equals to opposite, which is 1.5 divided by two. So beta comes out to be 36.87 degrees. Now I have to resolve all the forces that are acting at joint C into their respective components. So I have one horizontal component and one vertical component, one horizontal component and one vertical component, horizontal component and vertical component. So let's label them. So this right here is, yeah, let's label these forces as well. So this is FBC. This is FBC. This right here is FCA. So this is FBC cos theta because this angle right here is also theta because they are all alternate angles. This angle would be F. This component is FBC sine theta. This right here is F C A sine beta, and this is F C A cos beta. Similarly, this right here is F B C cos theta, and this is F B C sine theta. I hope that the free body diagram for the joint C is clear to you all. Now we can apply the equations of equilibrium. So first equation would be summation of forces in x direction equals to zero. I'm considering the right hand side as positive. So we have F B C cos theta, this component, plus F C A cos beta, 
this component minus f dc cos theta equals to zero this component so now let's substitute the values so fbc we had calculated as five kilonewtons so five into cos 36.87 degrees because theta was 36.87 degrees plus fca into cos beta and beta is 53.13 degrees minus fdc and fdc came out as 5 kilonewton into cos 36.87 degrees equals to 0 so we can see that we have 5 cos 36.87 degrees and negative 5 cos 36.87 degrees so they cancel out each other so fca comes out to be 0 which means fca is also a zero force member so it is neither in tension nor in compression. So this is it for this problem. We have calculated H force and its nature. So let me summarize it. The support reaction AX came out to be 4 kN. BX is also 4 kN. PY is 3 kN. The force FDC came out to be 5 kN and the member was in tension. FDA came out as negative 4 kN and earlier we had assumed it as a member in tension but because of this negative sign it proved to be the member in compression. FBC came out to be 5 kN and it is in tension. FBA and FCA are the zero force members. So they are neither in tension not in compression. So this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts regarding this problem, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.